My name is Amy Ely and I'm the director of STEM at Detroit Catholic Central High School. And in my role, one of the things that I am proudly in charge of is our aviation programming. Our aviation program has leapt from one class, which educated boys through ground school, into next year a four-year curriculum partnering with Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. So our young men will have the biggest leg up when they move on to become pilots if that's their desire. So as part of that, we have a group here called the Flying Shamrocks. Our Flying Shamrocks has been in existence, this is the third year, and it's our Aviation and Aerospace Club. So you don't necessarily have to want to be a pilot. You might just like anything that has to do with flying or with space. We just went on a field trip down to the Museum of the Air Force and Space Force down in Dayton, Ohio. It wasn't just any normal field trip. We were fully prepared to hop on a school bus and drive four and a half hours each way. But we are blessed to have a benefactor that sees a huge value in aviation. And in fact, is the one that encouraged us to start our curriculum in aviation, Mr. George Turek. And when Mr. Turk heard that we were going, he said, you know what? Why don't we give these guys another exposure into the aviation field? And that's that of being a private pilot on a private jet. It's a very different feel. And he offered the use of his plane to take 14 boys down to Dayton. When I tell you that the eyes were wide and the oohs were loud, I wouldn't be lying. It was an incredible field trip all the way around. From Mr. Turek's head pilot, who was fantastic with all of the guys, talking to them about his history in aviation and how he came to be the pilot of this private jet. And the co-pilot, Mr. Brandon Abbey, who's been one of our aviation advisors here at Catholic Central since the program's inception. He went on the field trip with us and really helped shepherd the guys through the different exhibits and to the different docents, all the way down to the head of education at the Museum of the Air Force, Mr. Mike Brimmer, who met us with open arms and rolled out the red carpet, gave us a fantastic docent that walked us through the first two hours of our tour. He found them aeronautical engineers to talk to. He found people in different career fields that our boys could sit down and have a real conversation about what their career had been like. I actually met the man who designed the F-22, which is my favorite plane. And he told me that I don't exactly have to be an aerospace engineer in order to design planes. I can graduate with a degree in mechanical engineering. And that changed my whole perspective on what I wanted to be when I grew up. But with this museum spanning over one million square feet, we had many hours left to go. So the boys in the afternoon were given free reign to go on their own in small groups and pursue their own interests. I think it's great so far. There's tons of planes here, and that's what I love about it. Everywhere you look, there's just a different, unique, cool plane that we can look at and see. It's just been like super cool, and like we've been able to see like all these different jets, like from the past, like World War II, and now like these all these presidential jets. And like, here's like a Lego version. It's just like really cool to like get to see inside the real jets and just kind of just get to see like the lifestyle of presidents and like what they get to fly when they travel. Uh, it's awesome to be able to see all the planes, you know, everywhere around, everywhere you look, there's an airplane. It's awesome to see all the history that's here too. The history is like probably the biggest thing for me to be able to see the presidents flew on these aircrafts. This was the last aircraft that Kennedy flew on. This is the aircraft that his casket was flown back on. So just awesome to see all the history.
When it came time to get back on that bus, the boys were exhausted, and I was too. But it was one of the most fact-filled, fulfilling days that I've ever had as an educator. And our Shamrocks really came away learning so much and feeling way more passionate about education than I even thought possible. Thank you, Mr. Turek. So thank you to Mr. Turek for the unique opportunity to take these boys in that jet all the way down to Dayton and learn everything they can about a career of their choice because this is a memory that's going to stay with them forever.